Okay, let's use um, back substitution to solve this problem here. Um, and uh, T1 is 1. So back substitution, what we do, I'll just highlight here, this is our recurrence. And uh, we look at what formula we get if we look at the previous term, which would be T n over 2. Uh, so that would equal 2 t n over 4, or 2 squared, um, plus log n over 2. So just replacing n with n over 2, really. And then we sub that in here. So then we get t n equals 2, bracket, and then if that gets subbed in, here will be 2 t n over 2 squared plus log n over 2 plus log n. 2 times what we just subbed in plus log n at the end and what we just subbed in was this 2t uh, n over 2 squared plus log n over 2. Expand in here. We'll get 2 squared t n over 2 squared plus 2 log n over 2 plus log n. So what happens is the 2 can come up and because they're being added they get the there's a multiplication log rule here so it'd be log n squared over 2 times n so that would be log n cubed over 2 log n cubed over 2. Let's do another one. So again, if we go to the original formula and look at t times n over 2 squared, that would equal 2 times t n over 2 cubed plus log n over 2 squared, and then sub that in here. So now we get Tn equals 2 squared times 2Tn over 2 cubed plus log n over 2 squared plus log n cubed over 2. And uh, I'm running out of space, I'm going to die. So I'm going to have to start removing things. Um, do I need to leave anything on the screen? What I'll do, hopefully you have these calculations down or you can pause the video to copy them down if you want, but I'll just remove this now. But I'll keep that question up the top of the page. Okay, so let's clean this up now. All right. So now, uh, whoops, get rid of that stray looking square and two cubed there. Okay, so now we have Tn equals two cubed Tn over two cubed plus, and then the two squared, it's gonna be two squared log n over two squared plus log n cubed over two. So that will equal t cubed times t n over 2 cubed um, plus that will be log n power 2 squared over 2 squared. And because of the plus again, this will be a multiply n cubed over 2. So that's a clear this off and clean this up a little bit. So that's going to be Tn equals 2 cubed Tn over 2 cubed plus log and that's 4, that's n7 over 2 
cubed. Uh, I think we'll just have to do one more just to see the pattern here and then we should be good. So again, using the original equation here, we can say t of n over 2 cubed will equal 2 times t uh, n over 2 power 4 plus log n over 2 cubed. And you can see what, what has been happening. So uh, the power is increasing and this 2 cubed, which is 8, uh, is going to be added to the, the power. So that will become a 15 for the next one. So you can kind of figure out what's going on here. So we can get Tn equals 2 power 4. T n over 2 power 4. Um, what did I say it was? Um, oh man, I only said it just a few seconds ago. 2, 4, 8. 8 plus 7. 15. Log n power 15 over 2 power 4. So just look at the, the powers here. Um, it was originally 1, and then what did we get? 3, wasn't it? It was 1 plus 2 power 1, plus 2 squared, plus 2 cubed. 8, 8, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, yeah, it's a sum. It's a sum of... Uh, it's a geometric sequence, so if we want to kind of make this a little bit more generic, we can. Rather than writing 15, uh, you notice here that this is a GP, geometric regression, so the formula is A times 1 minus R power N. So that's 1, 2, one, two 3, 4 terms over 1 minus R. Uh, 1 minus 2, and a is 1, so I should have just put in 1 there, over 1 minus 2. So that's 2 power 4 minus 1. Six, yeah, that's it. So rather than writing it as 15, I'll write it as 2 power 4 minus 1. And that's the key now. That's the key. We, we have this all nicely sorted out. So I'll put this result on the top. Is that significant? So we now have that Tn will equal 2 power k T n over 2 power k plus log 2 power k n 2 power k minus 1. Great. Okay, so to remove the uh, recursive element, we just continue applying this k number of times until we reach t1. So in other words, uh, uh, we need this here to be 1. n over 2 power k equals 1. That means n equals 2 power k. And if we put a log base 2 on both sides, we can get what the k is. So now, for that choice of k, we can get the formula tn equals 2 power k. And we've just turned this into t1, which we're told in the question is 1, so it's actually gone, plus log. No. Uh, that's natural log. Um, uh, it's going to be a bit messy to write in. N power 2 power log 2 N uh, minus 1 over 2 power 
log 2n. Now what's really nice is 2 and log 2 cancel. 2 and log 2 cancel. So you end up with 2n. Oh, I'm sorry, and I never actually wrote the k value in for the first term. That's going to be log 2n. And again, 2 and log 2 cancel. So that's just left with n plus log n power n uh, minus 1 over n. Yeah, okay, and that's the equation with the recursive element move. The recurrence is now gone. It's no longer a recurrence problem. It's now more explicit. Um, I guess you could test it out. So you could calculate T1, that it is indeed 1, for example. So that would be 1 plus log 1 minus 1, um, 1 power 1 minus 1 over 1. Um, uh, oh, that's kind of, that's kind of broken down, hasn't it, to minus infinity. <laughs> I wonder if I've made a mistake somewhere. Oh, sorry. Mistake is that minus 1 fell down. Let's open the power here. Okay, let's fix that up now. Good thing I checked. So that would be 1 power 1 minus 1. That's 1 power 0, which is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. Log 1 is 0. Yep, so that, that checks out. So then if you wanted to, you could calculate the next term, T2. Um, and there you go. So that's the formula found. And uh, just to be clear, usually when you don't write the base in, well, it depends what subject you're in, uh, it usually means base E or base 10. I'm going to say that this question was base E. Um, I could put this in the question. I should have really removed any ambiguity. Um, if you're in computer programming, not writing the base might mean base 2. If you're in chemistry, it would mean base 10. If you were in maths, it would mean base E. You know, um, it's not really important for this question, but if you don't like the ambiguity, we can just say it's base E then. Okay, there we go. That one was uh, a bit tricky. And you know what, actually, I'm kind of curious because I, I can simplify this. I just realized that maybe this can simplify more because it looks a little bit m messy with the fractions and everything. So let, let's just see if we can clean it up a little bit, okay? Not quite done yet. I want to clean it up a bit more. So I know for my rules of log, we can say this is n plus log n power n minus 1 at minus log n. So that will be n, and we can bring the power down, n minus 1 log e n minus log e n. So that'll be n plus um, n minus 2 log e n. So I managed to clean it up a little bit more if I did that correctly. Bring the power down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks okay to me. Yeah, looks okay to me. So I guess you could, I guess you could clean it up a little bit more if you wanted to. So there you go. If you want it cleaned up a little bit, I guess this, this is as simple as you can make it. Can't see how you can make it any simpler. Okay. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay, I'm gonna leave the video there. Hopefully I'm right. Let me know if you spot a mistake. Make me quite sad, but it's important to know.